Hello my wonderful Geminis, welcome to Earth Rose Tarot, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general tarot love reading for Gemini in Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. This is a general reading so it won't resonate fully with every single person who comes across it but I do hope that you find it useful and as always please do take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else. This is a timeless reading, it's for whenever you come across it. This can also be if you're dealing with someone in a connection who has Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. With that in mind, anytime I'm saying this is how you feel about this person, this is how they feel about you. If it's resonating for you with the roles reversed, please go ahead and reverse them. So, if you're new to the channel, then huge welcome. Thank you so much for trying me out. I really appreciate it. I know there's a lot of tarot readers out there. And if you're a returning subscriber, and I know I've got a wonderful Gemini um, crew, then thank you so much for all your amazing support. Thank you for being here again. So I'm going to jump straight into a spread for you today, Gemini. We're going to get lots of details about you and the person coming through in this reading. Find out what's going on with the connection. Okay, so can I get the top six cards for my wonderful Geminis, please? All right, so okay, uh, interesting. I feel like you might be dealing with someone here who is having some sort of success in their own life and maybe tangibly something like with work or you know something's paying off for them or they're getting a promotion or something is kind of kicking off for them which is actually allowing movement or progress towards you it's like an indirectly positive impact on your connection but it's very early doors so let's see at the bottom of the first deck that being said is the eight of pentacles oh gosh okay <laughs> um see with the eight of pentacles that can talk about someone it can be involving someone's work or their business um things are going looking pretty good there that's kind of what i was already seeing on the spread but this eight of pentacles is someone looking at their finances or their stability or something that they have been working on and it's all it's ticking over really nicely mm, there is also further potential like you know it's not stopping there but um it's just it's very successful now there is this um that being said, someone is extremely up in their head about a communication. Maybe the start of something. It looks pretty much like early days, but the well, this is early in the reading, so we'll see. But it's like there is someone feels like there's a chance now. Now that it, though it does seem quite like at the early start of a relationship as such it does feel like maybe someone that you already know in your life like this would doesn't strike me as someone that you're about to meet this feels like someone who you knew but in the past someone had an element of stuff going on in their life uh, which they wanted to keep secret or keep hidden but that those secrets in themselves were making someone feel trapped and like they couldn't make any moves but that has come to an end whatever that was it, but at the time when maybe you and this person first crossed paths or first got to know each other that this person was dealing with a lot effectively that you weren't aware of and that they were trying very much to keep to themselves this could be someone who um, shoulders a lot without letting anybody else help them or letting anybody anybody else even know that they have this stuff going on. They might just be very private um, or there's an element here that they don't want people to know their business or, you know, for various reasons. But there was, there's a sense of that in the past, it was something that someone wished for in the past, maybe to come towards you. This, this does feel like, maybe it, this feels very new, but a sense of, something that you pushed like 
something that was like a passing, like you were very attracted to this person or vice versa, or, you know, you, there was an element of interest, that, you know, someone that you kind of flirted with or were like, oh, I think they might like me, but I don't know. And, um, but that was as far as it went kind of thing. But at the time there was a wish for that to go further, but I do get this sense of someone had this wall up and there was so much, so much mental anguish and stress, stress on someone's mind. Um, this could have been someone that was like a friendly or acquaintance or just like a, even someone that you just passed by. I'm kind of getting as well, like you just, ha you know, would bump into them at the coffee shop and uh, you just kept seeing them. So maybe you sort of said hello and I don't know, or it could be like a, someone at work you know you just kept it very sit like kept it nice kept friendly but seemed impossible one side or the other for it to go any further hmm. okay woof all right someone's been doing a lot of thinking about you gemini um, maybe even f like imagining a future with you and being quite sure that you're someone that they want to go towards. There's a lot of positive energy coming in there, like that I'm looking at now about, and there's someone's really fired up about the future and feeling far more optimistic about the future and being able to make some sort of choice for themselves. Now, I feel like something else which was very, like, was really clouding their judgment and it was a whole load of um, drama and anguish which was going on in their life has kind of come to a completion. They might have even spent some time kind of healing from it. That could be you as well. Obviously, as I said from the start, reverse the roles as it, if it applies. So let's get the second layer. For anyone who is new here, I get three layers for the spread using three different decks. And then I will go through the spread with you, of course, and clarify if needed. So get the top six cards for Gemini, please. I was going to say that before, there's a lot of pentacle energy here already. <clears throat> wow, my gosh. So there could be an earth sign in the mix, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I don't know how it doesn't have to be. Wow. Okay, so the bottom of the second deck is the Four of Swords. That card is already on the spread as well. Was this person going through a divorce, potentially? <clears throat> Not that you would have known about it. <laughs> I was saying they would like to keep their business very um, private. Potentially that they were going through either the, the uh, divorce or the um, di like a uh, long term commitment being dissolved. You may have had a sense, Gemini, that this person was keeping their distance and kind of maybe not even just from you. You might have felt like that this person was kind of in a place of acting a bit of a loner or wanting to separate themselves from everyone you might have picked up intuitively on the fact that there was other stuff going on with this person's uh that was affecting their emotional state that they didn't want to share this really feels like someone who was going through it and didn't want anyone else involved effectively um and i feel like they were going through it about stuff that was completely unrelated to you could have if it wasn't a divorce it, or a long term relationship coming to an end. It could have been family matters as well. Something to do with um, it could have been people arguing over finance, like inheritance potentially, or um, or even family business, or like uh, or or like a family home being sold uh, and then split between the siblings. Something like this. 
there, someone here was keeping the faith. Maybe even you had this kind of hope or, um, or even this a sense of like a spiritual um, guidance that there was stuff going on beneath the surface about this person that you didn't know. However, you had a confidence or obviously vice versa that this person was going through it right now but once they were out the other end of what they were going through, there was there was potential because you could feel like a pull towards each other. But they had to leave something else behind first. I keep seeing the strength and the sun card next to each other as well, which is strong Leo energy. And just, this person doesn't have to be a Leo. It's just really kind of... Um, it's that kind of heart chakra energy. And they're um, having belief in themselves again. Maybe after there was this strong sense of disillusionment or disappointment about a previous, almost like a betrayal from someone that they cared about. Which had changed, yeah, they had to go through an ending. Now again, that could be a friend or a family member who they cared about deeply and they thought vice versa and there was some element of um, that relationship changing or coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. At the other end of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. But the, this Four of Pentacles card shows this kind of Machiavellian rabbit who is getting out of dodge, as I, I tend to say with this card. Um, and getting what they can from a situation and then getting out of there. Depending on the setting situation, this can be someone who is like a user who just comes in uh, to gain from a situation and then does a runner. But it could well be that this, I was seeing something about someone's assets or there's some sort of family uh, drama was going on to do with um, assets as well. So it could have been this person was dealing with uh, people trying to take from them or um, sorry, fly, <laughs> um, or trying to kind of, it's like they were dealing with a lot of people who were very much out for themselves and it was really stressing this person the hell out. Okay. Hmm. This may, oh, they could have also been in some sort of embroiled with a situation where because this person works very hard or has worked bit, like has worked very hard to have the life that they do to have stable finances and savings etc then they may have been dealing with people around them who wanted a piece of that and felt like they were a bit of a target to gain from in some way. It's going to be different for all of you, but there's certainly an element of that that was going on with them. Let's uh, crack on and get the third layer for Gemini, please. The top six cards. But again, the Four of Swords is that energy it's a it's a silent energy it's someone is in the middle of something you see how that rabbit is in the middle of four swords it's not out of it yet it hasn't done healing or processing it or whatever um so i feel like this person kept their distance from you gemini for some time because uh, they had other matters basically that were taking their attention away from you and it's just which is no insult to you, it just happens sometimes. One more time, the top six cards for Gemini, please. All right. Wow, nice. Oh, there's a fly in the ointment. 
All right, at the bottom of the third deck, Gemini, we have the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Water Energy. <laughs> underneath, sorry, underneath the King, Queen of Cups is the Queen of Swords, which is Air Energy, Cancer, uh, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini. I just said it like that because uh, they're very different energies. Can be the same person, but very rarely would the same person be feeling both these ways about this, like one person at the same time, if that makes sense. The Queen of Cups is very like unconditional love, endless, you know, compassion, um, can be a little bit uh, overgiving sometimes in their capacity to um, forgive or, you know, to their feelings rule them. So they can get taken advantage of sometimes for their compassion and their kindness and their love. But they obviously that's on on the person who takes advantage, not on the Queen of Cups necessarily, but it's just a very loving, affectionate person energy. Queen of Swords, on the other hand, and that's nothing to say about air signs, it's just the representation that we have with the Queen of Swords, someone who is very angry and uh, has run out of their emotion for the situation, lost patience and felt wronged and is quite scorned and angry about the situation. Can also be someone who wants a bit of revenge as well with the Queen of Swords. And then underneath that we have the Two of Swords. This feels like um, there's someone in the mix here who was trying to put a bit of a block in the way potentially of the person who's coming through in this reading um progressing with their love life i'm saying that because underneath that two of swords is the nine of cups which is this sense of pleasure desire like having what you desire and feeling extremely happy about it but then underneath that is the seven of wands there's more energy of obstacles that need to be overcome and then that's Underneath that is the Two of Cups. So it's kind of like this blockage, happiness, blockage, love kind of thing. Oh, is there a bit of blackmail going on? We've got the Seven of Swords, the Devil and the Four of Swords, but this feels like, I don't know this was a scorned, it could be this could be a friend family member or an ex but it feels like someone who felt scorned potentially by the person who's come through here in your reading gemini i don't feel, i don't think this is you feeling scorned about them to be honest um someone else who felt scorned by them and as a result wanted to kind of stop them from being able to make a choice about you. This is like someone throwing up roadblocks in the way, bringing stress to this person's door, bringing um, problems to them to stop, like to distract them. Like you can't, you can't go towards Gemini right now because you, you have to deal with X, Y, Z basically. But there's also this element, if this, there were things that this person likes to Either that they purposefully wanted to hide because it didn't put them in a very positive light or they just, they're just a very private person. They didn't want their whole business being shared with the world. Then this is giving me this sense of you will go along with this because otherwise I will, I'll tell everyone your, your information basically. Mean, very mean <laughs> energy. I don't like it at all. Someone was waiting for um, huh. I just got that someone was waiting for a payoff to be complete. I really hope that that's not the case, but I j the other end of the deck what I'm looking at here is just this sense of there was this element of timing going on here. Um, of before someone, this person, would be free from the prison that they were in, obviously mentally imposed prison, but obviously maybe also imposed by this other other people that were in their life, that they couldn't go after what they wanted, what they desired, um, to have a new beginning until some financial situation was resolved. Okay, let's get into your spread, Gemini. So how are you feeling about this person? 
Well, we've got the Four of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. I get the sense of, for you, it's like you feel like you're not in communication with this person as it stands. Four of Swords, especially in this deck, is talking about um, there's just a, there's silence has descended. It feels like the first thing that popped into my head was are we doing this? Oh, we're not doing it. Oh, we are start. Oh, no, no, we're not. Oh, you are asking me out. Oh, no, you never really did it. It's like a... Oh, it's like, um... Is this new beginning ever going to actually get off the ground? Um, if It almost feels like this person mentions something to you. It may be in passing, like, oh, we should go for lunch, or we should go for a drink sometime. And you're like, great, okay, yeah, that'd be lovely. Then silence. And then uh, they see you and, oh, you know what, we should do a drink sometime. And you're like, yes, um, silence. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. It's not funny, is it? Uh, it's not funny when you're in it. Uh, but that's what I'm getting. Let me see. Which deck do I want this deck? So, if, yeah, it feels like you're, you're doing your thing. And as far as you're, you're aware, they're doing their thing. And you're just like... feels like a inconsistency about this beginning. The Ace of Wands, you may feel like you're very interested with the Ace of Wands. That's the thing. The Ace of Wands is this energy of desire, passion. Uh, there's possibilities with the Ace of Wands that you could really create something here. Um, and it's exciting. But then it's tempered by this... Um, this Two of Pentacles is a card of, um, you may feel like this person has a lot on and they're, they're juggling, not only they're juggling, do I want this or do I not want this? As far as you're concerned, you feel like they're very inconsistent about whether they actually want this with you or not. But you may also feel like they have a lot on their plate at the moment and they are, so you're just waiting for them to, to be decisive once and for all about this, kind of what I'm getting. Um... Anything else about how Gemini is feeling about this person? Oh. Six of Pentacles came out. But the Three of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. See, the Six of Pentacles is telling me that you, Gemini, you're feeling um, ready to give to this. You're, um, you're like, sure, let's do it. Like, this is someone who is generous, like, with, in terms of you. You're, you are generous and open to this opportunity. Uh, you, you want to give to it and you want to receive back from it. But I feel like, and it, you want it to be fair, and, and, but also it would bring you a lot of happiness to actually, for more energy to be put in re re uh, reciprocally, reciprocally between the two of you. But I feel like it's... Um, the indecision and the, um, it's almost like this person gets your hopes up and then they, they're disappointing you currently. And that's leading to a bit of, it's almost starting to hurt. The three of swords. Or that could be talking about the fact that if you did feel any pain from feeling like this person didn't want you before, there is, um, the Four of Swords also talks about like the heal that being healed with some time. So again, I'm kind of getting the sense that you guys may have had a time out. And now you feel like they do want this new beginning with you and that they have also come to a place where they've um, they've balanced whatever else was going on in their life to a place where they can be in harmony to offer you something as well like they can do both let's see tell me more about how gemini is feeling here please about this person nine of swords and the fool okay you might also be reserving judgment now uh you might be reserving judgment about whether you, you want this anymore if if you feel like they've pushed you away, Gemini, for a, a, a while, or they were quiet, or they were silent, it's almost like something never got off the ground. And the more times, or the longer that they have, like, been away, 
and communication has withdrawn to nothing, <clears throat> you may now be questioning whether this is something you should really take a chance on. That two of pentacles could also be you weighing up um, the pros and cons about whether it's worth it. Why the Nine of Swords? Ten of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Tower in reverse with the Eight of Swords. So there's this hesitation and it keeps flipping when I'm reading it. So apologies, I hope it's making sense. It keeps flipping between whether you're feeling like this about this person or if it's your life. or Maybe it, it's a bit of both here because it's kind of like you're very worried about well, the Nine of Swords is kind of a lot of um, overthinking and stressing yourself out about whether you should even give this a chance or not anymore or give this um or hope for this or take a chance on it if they ever like <sighs> maybe it is being offered to you now but i feel like there was a there was such a long pause between when it first started and when they're really offering it to you now that you might even feel like um it's something about does this person have too much going on in their life separate to you separate to this connection that you kind of feel is it would it potentially be better to not take this opportunity to try and avoid a disaster it's like there's i mean the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck the nine of swords has already come out i'll show you that and with the first deck that i used for the spread is the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords next to each other. And I was saying about this stress about this message, it's it's almost like you're talking yourself out of this, Gemini. It's kind of something that you, you did want, but this person distanced themselves from you for so long that A, it hurt with that Three of Swords that we saw, and you've had to kind of try and come to terms with the fact that this might not ever get off the ground and now they're kind of maybe offering it and as much as you might feel like they are saying to you or they've they you know they must have found a way to balance um their whatever was going on with a relationship so that they can that they're now ready to show up for this <clears throat> is it really going to be fair with that six of pentacles is it going to be equally like, or will you be giving more because this person has so much on with that Ten of Wands? <clears throat> Excuse me. That would it be better to try and... It's almost like telling yourself maybe it would be best to not take a risk on this to other, other than it... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is like closing up when I'm talking. Um, rather than it, you trying to make this work with this person and it ends up in a tower disaster down the road sorry I get that out so let's move on how is this person feeling about you Gemini <laughs> we have the prince of cups the four of cups and the lovers the lovers is Gemini's major arcana I mean <laughs> the prince of cups is someone who is their feelings have kind of been they've kept them quite hidden you see how this is, is uh, like a Scorpio energy as well for me, but it doesn't have to be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. But uh, it's that kind of element of mystery around their feelings. They say, you, they say with a Scorpio, you never know if they hate your guts or they're completely besotted with you. You will never know either way. Um, so it's maybe that's relevant here because I don't normally say that, but um, it did make me chuckle when I, and I, someone told me that and I was like, yep, Scorpios, I know that does, that relates. But um, so I feel like this person has, is, throughout the start of this, this reading, is, they do seem to keep their cards very close to their vest and prefer to keep their, their feelings and their business very private. It, everyone seems to be on a need to know basis with this person. Um, so they are feeling like they have admired you, had affection for you, growing affection and desire for you that they have kept 
hidden in the wings, if you like. But the thing is, with the lover's card here as well, that is, that is major. That's, uh, that's not just having a crush on someone. That's having... That's being besotted with someone. That's like seeing the other person as the one that they want to be with. It's potentially falling, falling in love with someone. Um, but then we have this four of cups in the middle. I kind of get the sense that this person might... I'm going to clarify this in a second, but it's it's like they feel that they, it's either, sorry Gemini, I'm getting so many messages with your reading, it's either that they feel like they were having these kind of feelings towards you that I was just describing, like being quite enamoured with you is an understatement, um, but they acted completely disinterested, they acted like you were, um, you know, just like anybody else that they would bump into, like, oh, it's Gemini, whatever. <laughs> absolutely not the case in reality um either they feel like that's how they've they've been behaving and the reality is this lover's prince of cups situation or they feel like there's this hesitancy that they've also had about making a move towards you maybe because their feelings for you have got, got quite strong i would say gemini and now there's an element of oh god what if gemini does that to me when i offer them my um make an offer to them like make, show them how I feel like express my romantic feelings for them what if this is what happens um that could have been a factor as to why they this could be someone who felt like you were slightly um I don't I don't like to say like out of their league or that kind of thing but just someone who they wanted so much it that you started to become uh unattainable just purely because of um how much they desired you let's see or that could they could be feel, um, they could be feeling that's how you're kind of you're treating them like you, you're not really that excited by their interest maybe anymore as I was kind of getting the sense that you were interested but it's kind of now become a you're talking yourself out of it because of how things have been going well, let's just see <clears throat> Why is the Four of Cups here for how this person is feeling? I, I kind of get the sense more that they feel like they had all these feelings for you that I've just described, but when you were open to reciprocating with them, they acted disinterested. As we've already discussed, there was a lot going on in their life, but they feel like they may have pushed you away when you were interested and it's almost like now if they are trying to make a new beginning with you it's like now you're kind of questioning it like you know it's like the shoes on the other foot but it, I can understand why tell me more about how this person is feeling about Gemini Queen of Cups Water Energy Cat Spice of Scorpio Wow. Well, we already saw the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and I was talking about that um, ki kindness and compassion and and love, certainly. <laughs> so the Eight of Pentacles came out. I, so for some of you, I think you work with this person, but you don't have to. Um, the Nine of Swords. Sorry, it's I can't really see it on this camera, but Nine of Swords and then the World card. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles? I kind of see where this is going, but let me just... Wow. Oh. Okay. So the Lover's card came... Well, I said, why the Eight of Pentacles? The Lover's card came out in reverse with the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Now, again, I don't know if you have water in your chart. Gemini potentially but I was talking about how the, these two queens queen of cups queen of swords and I felt like the queen of swords was putting up roadblocks for this person to have any like to have progression with you and now we have um the queen of cups that came out but which is you I like that's how they feel about you but they were busy putting a lot of work into 
the someone else, this Queen of Swords, who, again, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be an ex or it could be a divorcee or it could have been working on a divorce being finalised. Uh, something that was causing them a lot of stress uh, coming to completion with those two cards, the World and the Nine of Swords. Someone where there was no love left, basically, with the Lovers in Reverse and the Queen of Swords. But I, I, I strongly get the sense this person has had this affection for you that they have kept to themselves. They felt this strong connection and pull towards you, but they also feel like they gave you the cold shoulder because they were in the middle of working on um, the disillusion, the something, dis dissolvement? Uh, anyway, the ending <laughs> of another situation. All right, so moving on, how are they viewing you, Gemini? We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So the Queen of Pentacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, but effectively, the Queen of Pentacles also talks about, um, she's like the wifey queen of the deck, wifey material queen of the deck, or a mini empress, you could call her as well. She's someone that, I mean, here she's surrounded by um, animals and a child, is bit, and like the, the harvest at the top there. So they're viewing you as someone that they strongly see as the person they if they're going to have another relationship in their life is going to be with you gemini they are picturing you as someone that they could have a long-term relationship with that it would be um somewhere like somewhere it would it would be a relationship which was full of warmth and nurturing um a lot of abundance which doesn't have to be money it can be um abundance of joy uh, and the sense of having all the the you know, delicious food that you need uh, to be satisfied uh, to be healthy and happy and loved basically that is the abundance we're talking about here but it's um it's something very sacred with that ace of pentacles as well and it's something that would be built for the long term that's how they're viewing you so they're viewing you as serious long-term relationship material and someone that they would potentially want to have all of that with but of course we have high priestess energy again which is i've seen at the bottom of the deck a few times so that's why i said again it's pisces but it's also it's that mystery it's keeping very quiet keeping all of this very much themselves they're viewing you as everything i just described and either they haven't said a word about this to you or maybe even vocalized it to anyone but that's the plan, and only they know the plan. <laughs> so, what is their current situation, Gemini? We have the Six of Wands, Temperance, and the Sun. Lovely. Probably one of the best situation combinations I've seen in the last few readings that I've been doing. Um, I think I said from the, when I laid out the first layer that this person was finally having some sort of success in something they've been working on. Um, Temperance is Sagittarius, is Major Arcana. We have the Sun, which... Cat is associated with Leo, as the Leo is ruled by the sun. And the Six of Wands, which actually in this deck has a, a little lion at the back here as well. So it can be more Leo energy. But effectively, it's just someone who there's, there's a lot of sense of victory. Um, maybe after a long battle, they have proven themselves, maybe even to themselves more than anyone else, um, their strength to... Um, get through some challenging times where there were a lot of emotional highs and lows. It could have been a bit of um, like a roller coaster going on in their life, but they have come out victorious. This is their time to basically stand in the sun and appreciate the rewards for um, that they're receiving in their life now. They have overcome a lot of difficulty here with this combination. And they are finally, I would say, feeling um, better about themselves, happier, more um, balanced, it, probably balanced like emotionally as well. Um, they probably feel like they've had a little bit of like a, a purge and that doesn't just like as in they may have faced a lot of their own um, 
fears, their demons, their shadow side and that kind of thing. They might be more in touch with their shadow side now. Um, but they've also found, as much as they may have found that, that side of themselves, they've also found a lot of um, resilience and this like re like renewed sense of self and also a renewed feeling of optimism for their future basically so what action are they most likely going to be taking towards you next gemini Ooh we have the ten of pentacles the empress i told you they were viewing you as a mini empress and the judgment card i mean the Empress is a uh, Taurus and Libra energy with the Major Arcana there. Um, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna clarify this because the Ten of Pentacles is uh, can talk about long term commitment and um, potentially having a home together or um, and the Empress. I mean that is uh, she is the Divine Feminine. She is, can also be a wife and can be, um, the, she is the mother of the tarot. She like, I mean, the Empress nurtures, the Ten Pentacles is very much like stability and structure. Uh, but the Empress, you know, the Empress makes a house a home and also is very, like brings a loving, kind touch and yeah, nurtures a seedling like which could well be the bearing in mind they're viewing you as the ace of pentacles which is a seedling in my book is the, the empress nurtures that to maturity to full-blown oak tree or whatever um now the judgment card is also that kind of breakthrough realization it's a new dawn it's a whole new beginning i'm kind of getting which i don't normally save with the judgment card but this is like a moment of awakening and uh, ascending like the connection is ascending so let's see what does that mean though in terms of an action I just noticed, which I haven't actually seen on this before, that this guy on the Ten of Pentacles card has a little bird on his... See how tiny that is? That's why I hadn't noticed it before. There's a little... I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up. A little birdie that's like um, on his wrist. So this could be a message. A, the birds in tarot talk about communication and uh, can be messengers. It's like, you know, days when people used carrier pigeons instead of online messages. I mean, my dog would freak out if I got a carrier pigeon, pigeon message, but I would find it quite romantic. <laughs> um, what is this in terms of an action towards Gemini, please? What does this mean? Why the Empress in particular? Ace of Wands immediately. Oh, Gemini, the Ace of Wands came out of the deck split to show the Strength card and the Emperor. So that is Leo and Aries energy, but I am asking why is the Empress here and you have the some the, your divine counterpart, well, the Empress's divine counterpart, I should say, sorry. Um, basically taking a very dynamic, uh, courageous act here now bearing in mind you feel this ace of wands about them but you're starting to question it i would say where we're at right now while we're doing the reading but their action is to offer you that new beginning why the ten of pentacles because it feels like from going from zero to a hundred this is why i'm just like because if you imagine you guys haven't been on a date yet or something hasn't didn't ever get off the ground and they're you know i just I can't believe that this person's going straight into, like, can I marry you, which uh, it just seems a bit strong. So what is this? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Wow, the Death card, which is Scorpio's Major Arcana, but this is his Major Transformation. I did say a new, a new dawn, a new day with the Judgment card. And then again, we have this, like, stepping in... What, the action that they take towards you next, Gemini, it's going to be like, 
life before they took this action and life after uh, in one way or another even if you say no it's still gonna it's gonna change everything in such a way that you can't unchange it um it's going to change the dynamic of your connection completely one way or another why the ten of pentacles Oh, so the Seven of Swords came out crossing judgment, which is a little bit like, because um, I do see an element of this person has been very secretive, an element, I've been talking about it so much, uh, being very mysterious, keeping their business very hidden, and even to the point that um, someone else may have been using that against them. The judgment with the seven of swords crossing it that's like someone facing the music as well or you know putting themselves up for judgment maybe by you so what, why the seven of swords oh <laughs> the lovers card just flew out of the deck i think this is uh is this this person just a massive confession uh, that they are in love with Gemini. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ace of Cups, as I said that. Why the Empress? Are they going that strong about it? Why the Empress? Oh, okay, well, they, they expect to, con like, expect a lot of information from this person, Gemini, when they make this move towards you. I mean, it's not that big of a surprise with that judgment energy. It's quite serious. It's, and as I said, with this death card energy as well, it's very much a huge change. Because what came out, as I'm saying that, is the Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. But bearing in mind, they felt like they're like aware that they have been acting like that to you with that four of cups. They've been acting, they've been giving you the impression that they're not potentially not interested when they have all this, this ridiculous amount of just like affection and love for you. Um, this the ace of swords with the seven of cups is, it it's clearing up the confusion about what was going on here. And why, if they gave you the impression that they weren't interested or they were distant or bored with you or the connection or something, they are clearing that up. We also had the, the Hierophant came out in reverse on top of the Seven of Swords. I am almost certain that this person was going through a divorce because or it again the hierophant can still talk about family so it could just be that you know again it could have been the ending of a family situation of some sort but one way or another this person is um is giving you i've got three aces here as well out of three six nine cards that i've used to clarify three of them are aces um, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and bearing in mind they're viewing, it hasn't come out yet, but they're viewing you as the Ace of Pentacles, so the move that they're making towards you is very passionate, <laughs> it's very uh, laying, funnily enough, laying all their cards on the table, uh, declaring how much, all this, like, how much they are in love with you, I would say. It probably admitting to you what they have been hiding and putting it on the table for you to judge them as you like as you like kind of thing um and it's also to give you clarity as to why they have been behaving the way they have it's very serious as well from the i mean the fact i don't think this person would be bonkers enough to go from we haven't had a date yet to let's get married i hope but it's certainly them saying to you that this is very serious this isn't just someone you're not just someone that they desire to sleep with they are 
very serious about you. They may even tell you that they, um, they are, they've pictured all this long-term marriage, home, family with in the future. But essentially expect a big move from this person, Gemini. And I don't say that lightly. I don't think I've said it to any of the other signs recently in the last couple of weeks because it hasn't come out. And I only say it if the cards are telling me that, but it's very crystal clear. Now, the last position. <laughs> What's going to be happening between you and this person going forward the next few weeks, the next month from when you come across this reading, that time will be slightly different for everyone. Oh... What is this? Um, so we have the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Now, bearing in mind you, one of the cards, how you feel about this person, as we come into this reading as the Two of Pentacles, very likely just not 100% sure anymore as we start it. It might be different when they make this massive declaration and explanation to you. But in terms of, in terms of what is going to be happening... We've got someone here with the Two of Pentacles transitioning from the past into the future. And it is a little bit of blurred lines. Um, now, it could, although there's one person on this card, this could be both of you. Uh, it could just be the shift in the relationship from what was to what is going to be. But the, the point I said about the blurred lines is because this person doesn't just leap from the past into the future in this card. This is actually someone who dances like in and out. Uh, of the past into the future in terms of um, the situations there's still things to tie up and then they but they're on their way in, into their next chapter but they're still having to this would be like the divorce is finalized but they still have to meet up with their ex once a month to discuss child support or I, I don't know to sell furniture that they bought together or something there's some loose ends that still need tying up they still have to knit back into that previous chapter of their life before they can be fully out of it but and the three of wands does talk about making plans for the future so there's a strong element here of like there's a little bit of what i just described but we're still looking forward this is not looking back it's not there's no sense of i haven't seen any desire for their past or to try and hold on to their past any of that like that they're not emotionally over the past no it's been purely more um, logistical, basically, but very much looking towards the future. And then we have this Five of Swords. What is this, Gemini? I'm the tarot reader. I need to find out. So um, let's use this one. So I'm saying that because this Five of Swords is... It could just be that whilst this is going on, there could this could lead to kind of... Um, some choppy conversations or challenges with communication between the two of you is kind of giving me a sense of misunderstanding or someone taking someone's words the wrong way. Um, I would be careful when it comes to communication over the next few weeks because it, it does look very positive. But I did get a sense from you that when with how you're feeling about this from one way or another, which I understand, you may be on the verge of talking yourself out of it. Now, if that has... that. Um, is manifesting but like subconsciously this five of swords card is a little bit of it can be self-sabotage of you know if you had already kind of got to the point of I'm not sure if I should do this anymore because I don't know if this person can really is really serious about me if they're still got other stuff that they need to sort with their ex potentially um, this could almost be like making arguments happen or when I, I'm saying this because you know, with love, because I want this to work out for you. And that's the point of tarot is to like point out any potential pitfalls. And trust me, I know about this energy because I've experienced it. I'm sure we all have, if we're honest. At one point or another, there's things that we're almost, we're sabotaging for ourselves by looking for issues that aren't necessarily there is kind of what I'm getting with that five of swords. And it could be because of this, that two of pentacles I was just describing of there's still a few loose ends. That, I mean, that five of swords card is someone saying things that they later regret. Uh, kind of outbursts of, um, could be a little bit of jealousy or anger or, you know. What is this? What's going to be happening? Okay. 
hold up. What's going to be happening between Gemini and this person going forward? Tell me about that Five of Swords. What's going on here? So we, <laughs> we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. So the Nine of Wands in reverse, upright, it would be someone like having their guard up and keeping someone away. Um, but this guard is, is coming down. And also the Five of Swords would be too many cooks in the kitchen, too many people involved in the situation and that leading to conflict um, between everyone involved. But that's in reverse as well. And then we have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is working together, collaborating, building something. So, <laughs> so why is the Five of Swords here? The Lovers came out crossing the Five of Swords, which is your card again, Gemini. And the f oh, yeah, mm, I thought it might be that. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, underneath that, Six of Swords. This is this Five of Swords energy is creeping into this in the next few weeks. This connection, even though forward movement is happening, we're looking towards the future, and there's like the the roadblocks are being removed. The wall that this person put up because there was so much conflict going on in their life is coming down. Finally, <laughs> I feel like saying. But the fact that they kind of, you feel like they left you out in the cold and potentially a little bit abandoned for so long, you're ready to get in your boat and move away from this. Sorry, I just hit the mic. Nine of Cups came out sideways. See, the thing is, the lovers and the Nine of Cups, this is what you've been wishing for, what in fact you've both been wishing for and fantasizing about. And the two of you represented in this lovers card here, both of you have been fantasizing about coming together. Sorry, it'd be better if they were the same way. Um, coming together in a uh, romantic, lovely embrace. But... Um, there is a little bit of now don't get me wrong because I do understand I do understand um, that this would have been very confusing and it's like a defense mechanism mm -hmm. a defense mechanism to uh, come to terms with the fact that this isn't happening and when you're in that, when you've already, your brain has already moved into that place of acceptance of, I need to move on from this. And then <laughs> you get what you were wanting the whole time. It's very easy to self-sabotage, even subconsciously. And then the Ace of Wands came out sideways, along with the Lovers and the Nine of Cups. At the bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. So essentially, yes, this is what I was getting. It might even be best... A little bit to because the strength and the four of swords came out together so if there are moments where i feel like it's going to be more you gemini um in this that if there are moments where you feel like snapping at this person or being like oh i knew it i knew this was never really happening oh i knew you were still going back to your ex you know what forget it kind of thing and saying something that you are going to end up regretting or you, you don't really mean it's just that finally having what you wanted before there's a the, the message from the cards here is to maybe have the strength and the wherewithal in that moment the self-awareness to just 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 hold back a little bit of in terms of blurting out that kind of thing um and see what happens first give this person a chance to actually you just take it slow and don't uh, let your uh, your kind of fear about being like uh, about getting what you want. I would say uh, sabotage 
you getting what you want. <laughs> so it's very good timing because the pub downstairs has just burst into life. So I will be done with recordings for tonight. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. I hope it was useful and I do hope it resonated. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the video circulate. It takes a second and it means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you. We've got a good Gemini following, I think, at this point. And um, if you did resonate or you enjoyed it, leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for all your wonderful support. I wish you all my very best and all the best for this situation. If it's resonating for you, I'll speak to you soon. Gemini, bye.